Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the Movie Hangout. Comic-Con has officially been canceled. That's the topic of this video. I cannot believe I'm actually saying this right now. The San Diego Comic-Con for the year 2020. This was going to be a huge year too. I mean, think of it. San Diego Comic-Con 2020. There were going to be so many huge events. So many huge vendors that were going to be there. And... It's done. They're not doing it. I can't believe it. Um, before I go any further, if you want to get uh, future rants, reviews, original content, click subscribe right now. Be sure to like and comment. I've gone to Comic-Con for, gosh, I've been there for the past three years. And I have to say, it, it is, if you've never been to a comic a Comic-Con convention, it, it, it's it's just a whole different experience. Um, there there are these movie comic book conventions all over the country, but this one in particular, the San Diego one, this is the Super Bowl of all of these conventions. You have um, everything with Marvel, DC, um, action movies, uh, television shows, internet shows, streaming shows, Netflix shows, HBO shows, Disney Plus, Disney, independent artists. I mean, it, it is everything. It, it's it's bigger than the Oscars. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. And it's just so sad that it it's not going to be happening this year. In my opinion, I think that they made a big mistake. I think that this whole pandemic quarantine shutdown in California is going to be lifted before before June, definitely before the end of June. And the event takes place July 22nd through the 25th. So I don't know. It's just, just absolutely ridiculous. So let's go through it here. Variety announced it. Comic-Con officially canceled due to coronavirus pandemic. And before I go any further, like, see the shirt right here? This is some of the cool stuff you can get. This was, let me stand up a little bit. This was at the Nickelodeon booth. You can actually design your own t-shirt. And it just, it's like the cost of a regular t-shirt. You know, I put like uh, Double Dare, SpongeBob, Hey Arnold. I think it's Double Dare right there. Then uh, Rugrats and... This is just one of the cool things I would do every year. I got I got a bunch of these, you know. It's really sad. So the 2020 San Diego Comic Con, the largest fan convention in North America, it might even be one of the largest in the world, and one of the biggest promotional events of the year has been canceled in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. Organizers announced on Friday the event, which pulls in upwards of 130,000 participants each year was scheduled to be held from July 23rd to the 26th. The cancellation is the first in the event's history, <clears throat> but organizers say the event will return next year. Attendees who had purchased badges for the 2020 convention will receive an e email within a week with instructions on how to either request a refund or transfer their badges to next year. So this is the problem with this right now. It is so hard to get one of these badges. Uh, I, I can get a professional badge, but even then that's really, really difficult. And if you're just gonna be a regular attendee, a fan, I mean, it's like, you have to go into this online waiting room and it's like winning the lottery basically. Well, now it's gonna be even harder because if you didn't get in this year, you're gonna be competing against everybody that got in for next year. And so it, it just really sucks. It su sucks for everybody. Um, Exhibitors set for the 2020 event will receive similar instructions. It costs a ton of money to set up an exhibit. Now, I'm going to do another video. I think after this one, that I found a great article that perfectly breaks down how much money the San Diego Comic-Con makes based on uh, regular attendee ticket sales, based on concession stand, uh, just food that people munch on, bottled water, um, you know, what the vendors pay. It's it's insane how much money they, they bring in. <clears throat> uh, the decision follows April 14th press conference by Governor Newsom. 
and going down on here, uh, recognizing the countless attendees, attendees save and plan for its conventions each year and how many exhibitors and stakeholders rely upon its events for a major portion of their livelihood. They really do. Had hoped to delay this decision uh, and hope that it would lessen by summer. And then it just kind of goes on about that. It was founded in 1970. And wow, so this so this would have been the 50, this would have been the 50 year anniversary then. If it was founded in 1970, because it's 2020 this year. This would have been the 50 year anniversary. Well, everybody's got to remember the 50 year anniversary because it was the year that it got canceled. So it's crazy. And it was given the moniker of the San Diego Comic-Con officially in 1973. The annual convention of comic book fans, writers, and sellers ballooned in size in the 2000s. It really did. In my opinion, it got a little bit too big with the explosion of big-budget genre entertainment in Hollywood. The four-day convention has been a critical promotion tool for feature films and TV shows. And that's basically the gist of the article right there. Um, I don't know. It's just... It's just one of those things that you just can count on happening every summer, you know. Everybody puts it in their and uh, you know in their in their schedule for the summertime. If you work in entertainment, it's just one of those flagship things, right in the smack dab in the middle of summer. And I just can't believe it got canceled. But oh well, I hope hopefully it'll be back next year and uh, everything will be good. But. What do you think? Do you think that they canceled too early? Do you think they should have waited longer? The crazy thing about this is that everybody that owns like a beer, an, an Airbnb in San Diego, they're going to lose out. There's a lot of people that rely on the Comic-Con uh, attendees to help pay for their rent because they rent out their place with their Airbnb, um, all the restaurants down there. There's a Starbucks that's little, literally right across the street from the convention center that is always packed during the weekend. They're losing out on, gosh, tens of thousands of dollars. All of the people, all the baristas, they're losing out on money and tips too. All the Subway shops, all the sandwich shops, all the restaurants, all the bars. The bars are packed during that weekend. Everybody goes and gets beer and stuff to cool off it's crazy but i don't know let me know do you think that they uh pulled the trigger too soon or do you think that this is the smart idea i don't know i guess we'll only know in hindsight looking back but uh anyway thanks for watching and as always if you want to get future rants reviews or original content click subscribe later